Today, I'm going to show you a feature in Photoshop that makes it easy to repeat transformations over and over again to create some really interesting results. Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe and today I'm going to show you how to repeat transformation and this helps you get some really cool creative results without a lot of work. So I grabbed this picture of a woman and also a feather here from Adobe Stock. And I actually grabbed this as a vector so it was already cut out. Uh, but I also have tons of tutorials on how to cut out things here. And you can use any object, any shape. You could even create you know, some of your own shapes and patterns here inside of Photoshop. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a work of art with this. So the first thing we want to do is we want to position this. So I'm going to hit Control T for Free Transform. And then we're just going to rotate this. And what we want to do is just kind of position it, but I want it to rotate around the head. Now, if you don't see this little option here, you'll see, just turn it on there. And this gives you your pivot point. And now I'm just going to move this pivot point. And now we're going to test the movement. Okay, I feel like it needs to go a little bit further out. So I'm pulling it a little bit further out and testing the movement once again. See what we're doing here? And it looks like it's going a little bit too much to the left. So I want to move it a little to the right. So we're going to pull that pivot point over. And notice this is just going to rotate around this pivot point. And this is looking pretty good. This is about what I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag down some guides. By the way, Control R will get you the rulers. And I'm dragging out these guides because this is where I want that pivot point to go. All right, get ready to repeat this transformation. So we're going to hit Control J to duplicate that layer. Control or Command T for free transform. And let's move that pivot point right into there. Now we're just going to drag out. Notice what we're doing. We're just rotating it. And I want it to go about there. So. However far we go, you know, we could go further, we could go less. There's so many places you could use this for. And I'm going to hit enter and this is going to be repeatable. Hold down the shift, option, command, and on Windows that would be shift, alt, control, and then we just tap the T key. Notice that repeats it. And let's tap the T again and just keep tapping it. And notice this is going to repeat this all the way around because it's repeating that same transformation from that same pivot point. That pivot point is really important. All right, let's get rid of our guides. We don't need them anymore. One of the things I want to do is I want to show this whole area there. So why don't we just go under image, reveal all. And now we can see the entire area. Let's put this into a group. So with that top one selected, scroll down, get all these feathers, hold down the shift key and click. Now they're all selected. Let's put them in a group, control G, that would be command G and all our feathers are there. All right, why don't we extend this background? Quickest way to do this that I know of is let's just go down here and I'm just gonna create a selection since these are pretty much solid colors. Control T, hold down that shift key and then drag it non-proportionally because if you proportion it and there's a gradient, you're going to lose that gradient. Let's do the same thing on the other side here. Control T, hold down that shift key and just drag this out. And all we're doing is a pixel stretch, except we're doing more than one pixel. Let's do the same thing for the top. Make sure you get an area that's not covering her flower. That looks good. Control T, hold that shift key, drag it out. Hit enter, and there we go. And if it looks a little bit weird, we can always fix this now by using some content aware. Let me just zoom out. Go around there, shift, delete, brings up the 
fill, use content aware and click OK. And notice that just cleans up any of that artifacting. Same thing there. Let's do the same thing. There we go. All the artifacts are gone. It's now nice and clean. Awesome. All right. I'm just going to select all of this right now. So we're just going to click on the select and we're going to choose to select subject. Just make sure you've chosen the object select or the quick select first. And that will enable select subject from the top. Okay, we've got a select subject, that's great. And I'm just gonna copy this to a new layer, Control J. All right, let's put all this back on again. So there's our group. Let's drag our layer above it. And notice we get this nice cutout. So we could have it this way. And you know what, that's looking pretty good. Now, if you wanted to do something with coloring, let's grab the group here. And we're just going to grab with that group selected, make sure we go down to the adjustment layer and I'm going to choose hue saturation. With hue saturation selected, I'm going to hold down the alt or the option key and move between those two layers. This will clip this here. So now the adjustment will only affect those feathers and not the rest of the image. Click colorize. And let's try something a little bit different. Maybe lighten it up a little. And so we're looking for something maybe a little bit more complementary to those tones. It's looking pretty nice. Now let's blend it in with the original color. So with this hue saturation adjustment layer selected, go down to color. And then we're going to take the opacity and we're going to bring it down just a little bit. So now we can start to blend this our original color. And there we are. Now we're just starting to influence a little bit with the new color. And it's simple as that to create something artistic inside of Photoshop by uh, repeating that transformation. So I hope you found this useful. Let me know in the comments underneath if you learned anything new here and if this was an interesting creative tutorial for you. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed yet to Photoshop Cafe, hit that subscribe button right now and you'll get a new tutorial from me every single week. And by the way, guys, if you like this, smash the like button into dust. And every Thursday, we're doing a live stream at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Join us this week right here on the YouTube channel. Until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.